Hi, this is Lori Failer from Lori's Robots, and today I'm going to be connecting up the BNO055 uh, 9 axis orientation board um, to uh, an Arduino Nano. Uh, and it's this because I'm following Paul McCorder's course on using this sensor um, with your Nano, and I'm very excited to, to learn how to use uh, a 9 axis sensor and learn how what I can do with it. So to follow uh, Paul's course I want to make sure that I have this connected up really nice and neat so I went ahead and made my own um, connection wires and I did that from using solid core uh, wire it turns out 20 gauge is pretty good and uh, just did some stripping of the wires to make my own connectors. You can purchase these wherever you normally get your electronic stuff, um, but you can also make them yourself. And I think in the end it's kind of nice because you can make them exactly the size and you can use the colors that you want to use um, in your projects. So just get yourself some of this uh, solid core wire um, and uh, then you have all the nice colors. And I got a little kit here that came with several of the colors all in one, so I found that really helpful. And then the other thing you'd need to have is just a, a stripper so that you can strip the wire, um, the coating off the wire to make your, your connections. So that's how I did it. Now, if you don't have that, of course, you could be using the, the DuPont connectors, and you can purchase these also at your favorite electronics place or um, sometimes they come in kits that you might have gotten for a beginner kit, uh, for a Raspberry Pi or Arduino or Pico or something like that. So these are certainly usable and it's not a complicated circuit for this board so uh, it would still be pretty neat if you use them so um, that's just up to you. But I decided to make my own since I knew this was a um, there were several uh, videos in the course and I knew I was going to be using this circuit over and over and over again. So. Um, that's why I chose to do it. So first up is to take the Nano and connect it uh, onto the board. Um, so let's see, I'm going to position it so that I have some space here uh, that I can do the connections and it's straddling the center of the breadboard and you want to do that of course so that this side of the board and this side of the board are independent and that's how your breadboard works so we'll uh, do it like that. So I'm just going to press it in real good and tight. There we go. Uh, and then next we want to, uh, we want to create the uh, power and ground rail that we're going to connect the uh, sensor up to once we put it on the board as well. Um, so that's why I have these little black and red uh, connector wires that I've already created um, for you know, coming directly off of a breadboard and powering up these rails and setting up the ground. So um, on the Arduino Nano, um, come up just a little bit, you can see that there is a ground and a 5 volt uh, pin right here that I'm going to do the connections to. So first I'll do the 5 volt and that's this one here and I'll put it right here to the, the positive line and then I'll take and connect the ground to the uh, line marked minus. So now I have a power and a ground rail on the board. So next up is to go ahead and put the sensor onto the um, breadboard as well. And we're going to be using the side with the five pins because there's a, um, a voltage in pin, there's a ground pin, and there's the two I2C pins, uh, the SDA and the SCL pin that we're going to connect back to this Nano. All right, so I'm going to leave myself a little bit of space. I'm also going to have it shifted over um, just a little bit. And I think I'm going to move it down so I get a nice, neat um, connection to the ground rail straight up and down so I think that'll work. So we'll put that in like that and then we'll go ahead and do that connection. So the VN will go to the power so that's how we're going to power this board. So I'll go ahead and put that connect it up to the rail and then I'll connect the ground up to the ground rail as well. There we go. So it looks pretty good. And then the other two pins I have are for connecting up uh, the A4 pin to the SDA. So hopefully I've spaced this correctly. And this is where it'd be nice. I should shift this over just a little bit more. I meant to have this so I have three 
There we go. So that'll allow me to make the two connections and have the wire just lay real nice there. So I'm going to connect the A4 pin to the SDA. And uh, you can see I sized this wire nicely for that. And that's the beauty of making your own. And then I'm going to do the SCL pin to the A5. There we go. So now this is all connected up and uh, looks pretty good, I guess. So now we're ready to power this up and do some of the programs that Paul is going to show us.